Welcome to Golden Software's video training for Grapher. Grapher is a powerful 2D and 3D graphing software package. In this video, I will introduce the layout and functionality of Grapher's interface. When Grapher is first opened, a ribbon bar is displayed along the top of the Grapher application. The Object Manager and Property Manager are on the left, the Worksheet Manager is on the right, and the Plot window is in the middle. This space can show the worksheet window or the grid node window instead of the plot window if those windows are available and active. The available windows are shown in the tabs above the plot window. The ribbon bar always displays a file menu. At the bottom of the plot window are plot pages. A plot document can have multiple pages. Click the tab to activate the page. The active page is displayed in the plot window. Only the active page is printed or exported, but all pages will be saved in one project. Add pages to the plot document by clicking the plus sign button next to the page tabs. Remove pages from the plot document by clicking the X on the tab. Double click the tab name, type a new name, and press enter to rename the page. The ribbon bar always displays a file menu. A home tab, containing the most common commands such as creating graphs, adding to graphs, and drawing common objects. An insert tab containing additional commands for drawing and editing objects. A layout tab containing commands pertaining to the page size and orientation, as well as commands pertaining to the arrangement of objects and graphs on the page. A view tab containing commands and options to adjust the look of the graph or application. And an automation tab with scripting commands. Additional tabs may be added for specific views or objects. A Data Tools tab is added when a worksheet window is active. A Graph Tools tab is added when a graph is present in the plot window. And a Grid Tools tab is added when a grid node window is active. The ribbon bar can be hidden in order to increase the size of the workspace if desired. Clicking the up arrow in the upper right corner of the Grapher application will minimize the ribbon bar, giving Grapher a more compact, menu-style feel. The arrow changes to point down when the ribbon is compacted. Clicking the down arrow icon will change back to the expanded ribbon bar. Now, we will quickly create a graph to aid in explaining what each of the managers does. The object manager contains an ordered list of objects in the plot window. It is updated to show a graph, containing a line scatter plot, an x-axis, and a y-axis. The Object Manager is an easy place to select, rearrange, or change the visibility of objects. The Property Manager contains all editable properties for the currently selected object. With the Line Scatter Plot selected, we can click on the Line tab in the Property Manager to change various line properties for this plot. The plot automatically updates when properties in the Property Manager are changed. Similarly, the Property Manager is automatically updated when a new object is selected. The Worksheet Manager displays a tabbed view of all the currently open worksheets. Data can be edited, stored, and saved. Cells can be formatted, and graphs can be created from the Worksheet Manager. These three managers are visible by default but there is one additional manager that can be turned on if desired, the Script Manager. This manager is tabbed with the Worksheet Manager on the right side of the screen and allows you to view, edit, and run scripts from within the Grapher application. Each manager window in Grapher can be moved and the visibility can be altered to customize the interface. To show or hide individual managers, click the View tab in the ribbon bar and check or uncheck the box next to the manager name in the display section. Unchecking the box will hide the manager and checking the box will show the manager. Alternatively, you can hide all of the managers by clicking Hide All and you can show all of the managers by clicking Show All. To move a manager's position, click and hold its title bar and drag the mouse. A manager can be placed anywhere on the screen as a floating window or can be docked in many places around the grapher window by moving the mouse around the edges until the docking mechanism is displayed. 
Hovering over one of the arrows in the docking mechanism will show you in blue where the manager will be docked if you release the mouse button. Managers can be set to auto-hide by clicking the pin in the upper right-hand corner of the manager's window. When the managers are unpinned, they hide as tabs against the side of the application they were originally docked at. Unpinned managers can be temporarily opened by hovering over the tab. When the manager reappears, click the pin to permanently dock it once more. Plot, worksheet, and grid node windows can be moved and arranged as well. These windows can be dragged and resized, or arranged more precisely by using the commands in the View, Window section. All managers and windows can be reset to their default locations by clicking the Reset Windows command. Graffer will need to be closed and reopened after clicking this command in order for the windows to be reset. This concludes the video training for Graffer's user interface. If you have any additional questions, please contact Golden Software.